Alright guys, we are back with our Dallas Stars GM mode, getting ready to start the uh, resign stage, but last episode for our triumphant return for one more year with the, this Dallas Stars GM mode, we went into the draft and we actually made some pretty good trades. We obtained Mark Shifley in the deal with the Winnipeg Jets, giving them David Backus and I think Joey Goldman and some draft picks and uh, got ourselves that second-line playmaker that we so desperately want, and he's much younger as well. And we also got uh, Trevor Daly sent to the New Jersey Devils and our, our draft pick and moved up in the draft to pick up one of those Russian players that we were scouting throughout the year. Didn't turn out the best, but he could be a pretty good prospect uh, for the years to come, maybe when I'm just goofing off uh, with this with this uh, GM mode after I'm done actually recording it. But we're going to start a re-sign stage right here. So let's see if we can get this done, move in the free agency as quickly as possible so you can guys can help me out with all that good stuff. So the one thing I forgot to do last episode was actually check out Mark Shifley's face-offs, and yeah, it is pretty low as I expected. So that might be one thing that might hurt us a little bit, but who knows. I've seen people with like 60 face-offs, and they still have amazing seasons, so it doesn't really matter. But all right, so goaltenders, let's start out from the back end here. Goaltenders... Uh, four dice, we can, yeah, I guess we can re-sign him. I mean, uh, Mrazic went to a 78 overall now. Or was he a 78 overall? I forget. Crozy, we don't need anymore, so he can be gone. Mrazic, uh, if he wants a two-year, two-way deal again, yeah. So we'll just tenderify, we'll, we'll leave him off for the end. So Mrazic, uh, tender qualifying offer to him. Four dice. Uh, how old are you? 24. Yeah, I'm just going to release him to free agency. We don't even need him. We'll pick up another goalie. Uh, so Mrazic, yeah, we'll just leave him. He'll be a good AHL starter down there because we don't really need a goaltender anymore. Defense, let's get this whole entire defensive course signed, shall we? All right, so first off would be, uh, let's sort it by overall. All right, Nick Letty. Nick Letty, Nick Letty. Let's see how much... Nicholas Letty once, yep, as I suspected, six six point two years, six point two mil for five years. Okay, you're worth you're worth it though. One of my you're my top two defensemen, offensive defensemen, which I so desperately love. So we'll get you for you want what you want. So we can take off uh, six and then three, so nine mil basically. So about five point three mil we can get him for. Yeah, five point three right on the dot. So five years at 5.3 for Nick Letty, fine by me. Get him done. So we have 30 mil to work with, so that's not bad. Rumblad, see how much he wants. Yeah, about the same same kind of money. Uh, yeah, three years is good. I'll take him up till he's uh, 30 years old as well. We're gonna keep this defensive core pretty stacked, pretty uh, situated as it is, because they're still pretty good. All right, so uh, f uh, five and then. Two, so really like seven we can take off from him. So about 4.3. 4.3 for Gormley will be cool. 4.3 mil for three years for Gormley. Cool beans. Uh, Dylan, let's get Dylan back. Uh, ooh, Dylan wants a good bit of money. Three years at 4.6 for a top four guy. Uh, yeah, I guess you're still kind of worth it, though. I could trim you down four and then two, so about six. I could probably get him for four mil. I'll hold off on Dylan for a minute. I'm probably going to sign him, but I'll just hold off on him. Krug, I know we're going to need a top six defenseman, so we'll have to see about Krug. We'll probably wait on him as well. Nemeth, Nemeth I'm going to tend to fry qualifying offer. Pissick, I'm going to do the exact same thing with. Blacker, we can get rid of because we don't need him anymore. Ao Hor, we're going to tend to fry qualifying offer for him. We could probably just re-sign him for a two-way. Yep, Tor is easily three years at that Let's see how many years is uh would Hor be getting ready for? Oh wow, he's actually still pretty pretty far away from actually getting better. So two years on three years, there you go. Uh, let's see. So Pissick, do you want a two way still? You still want a two way for one more year? All right, I'll give it to you, I guess. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Help out the AHL team. Nemeth, do you want a big boy contract? Yes, you do. You want one way, two years at 1.03. Probably give you a one-year deal at because uh, this is your last year getting better. So I could probably save some money if I do two years, but I won't. I don't want to be stuck with your cap if I do. So I'm only gonna do one year at. I can get rid of what 
I can get them down for like 0.9 mil, probably. Yeah, I can probably get them down to about that. So I'll see about that for Nemeth, Krug. I'll wait on Krug, and I'm going to wait on Dylan. So we'll check out those guys. Right wingers, uh, Tarasenko, let's get him back. Two years at only 2.9 mil. So you don't even want that much money, do you? Yeah, two year two year deal's fine for Tarasenko. So two and then one, so three mil. So about 2.670 for Tarasenko. Fine with me. Uh, Hanelski, how much do you want? Probably going to release you to free agency. Yeah, you won't wait too much money. No, thank you. I don't need a third liner like you. Ferguson, let's get him back. One year, yeah, one year at 1.3. One year at 1.3, that's that's easily, easy decision for me. So I can take off one and then a half. So 2.95. And then uh, about 0.5, or 0 0.05. So about, I'll do, I'll do that. 1.250 for Ferguson. Uh, Steve Downey, I'll wait on. Brett Ritchie, let's see what Brett wants. Brett's still okay. Brett Ritchie wants a one-way deal. He is considered a fourth liner. All right. Uh, I might do the same thing with Brett. Might give him a one-year deal as well. And then see how much he gets. I'll wait on him. We have tender five qualifying offer just to make sure I don't lose him. Same thing with Ferguson as well. Uh, Tomorrow, I guess I will do him for him as well since he's 21. I'll re-sign him. Because I know I can get him. Yep, that's fine by me. Brett Ritchie. Yeah, Steve Downey, how much do you want? Downey wants three years at 1.9. I'll probably just give you a one-year deal. You're probably still pretty decent. I'll probably wait on you as well. Uh, left wingers, Nick Ritchie. Yep, tender foot. Whoa, whoa, okay. Not negotiating no contract with him. Yeah, four years at 5.1. Uh, tender for qualifying offer. Brad Ross, uh, Rajula, let's see how much he wants. Rajula wants two years at 1.7. Yeah, Probably not. I'm probably going to release him. Yeah, I'm going to release Rajula. I don't need him anymore. Uh, Shala, does he want a one year, one way deal? No, he still wants a two way. Uh, I'll probably do that to him. Lowry, time if I qualify, I think I'll offer it to him. He's only 25. E I'll give that to Lowry. Uh, Kolsonik, sign him, he's our draft pick, because he's 20 years old because he can't play in the AHL, uh, Richie, yeah, let's, let's sign Richie, four years at 5.1, yeah, you're worth it, you're worth it, my friend, that'll take you up to 26, and then you'll want your big boy contract, you'll probably be a first liner by that time anyway, so five mil and then two, so really another seven off of him, so that'll be, uh, That'll be, what, 4.4? 4? Yeah, about 4.4. 4.4 4. 4. 4. Yeah, I'll try 4.4 4 for Richie to start off, see how that goes. Uh, Puckle looks fine. Shallow is fine. Centers. Peverly. Yeah, we'll, we'll sign Peverly again. One year at... Uh, one point... 1.835, and then, yeah, about 1.8 mil for Peverly. Bukestad, uh, let's see, what does he want? Does he want one way? Yeah, he wants a one way. I'll probably just qualify offer to him. Who knows, he could become pretty good. I don't know, I might just sign these. Uh, I'm going to have to see how much money I have left after all these guys. Dino, do you want a one way? No, you still want a two way. All right, so qualifying offer to you. John Mitchell, I don't need. He's gone. Uh, Faxa. Time for a qualifying offer to him. Same thing with Winther. Faxa. Let's see how much Faxa wants. Faxa still wants a two-way. Okay, so it looks like he might get the big jump next year. So I'm going to... Yeah, I can only offer him a one-year deal, one deal at that. So I'll give him that. He'll want his big boy money next year. He won't. Looks like he won't be able to play. Winther, I'll give him what he wants. Yeah, it's fine by me. And uh, all right, let's advance the dice. See how who what. Blah. Can't even talk right now. See who signs and what. I'll have much money we'll have left. 
Okay, so Pisk renewed, Nikolay renewed, Tamora renewed, Peverly renewed, Tarasenko renewed, Runblad's good, Nemeth is good, Colson next good, Faxa is good, Richie's good, Whore's good, Winther's good, Ferguson's good, and Lowry's good. Okay. So we have 13 mil still to work with, and we still need to sign a couple big names here. Okay, so um, to know you're good for the AHL team, so I'll sign you one year at that. Good. Brett Ritchie. Oh, yeah, Brett Ritchie, I just noticed they jumped up to a 78 overall. So he might actually be good for the fourth line. So the way I'm thinking is, who's going to be on our fourth line now? We might not even need Downey anymore, personally. We might not need Downey. Downey's actually a pretty decent player. That's one. That's what the one thing I don't like about it. Downey's a good player, and he's got a good defensive category still. Uh, I don't know, but I, I'm like I think Brett Ritchie might get a good jump in addition to that 78. He might become like an 80 something and throw him down the fourth line. Yeah, you know what? I like Steve Downey. I like him for his good offensive category, but you know what? I think Brett Ritchie. Brett Ritchie has uh, earned that time, earned that spot. So, sorry, Steve. If we need you, I'll go back in free agency and maybe pick you up. Um, Hanowski, I don't think we'll need. I really don't think we'll need him. Nah. He's way too much money for a third liner. We don't need him. Maybe we do. I don't even know. Who's our? What's our lineup looking like so far? Sagan, and Kane, Huberto, Chasen, uh, so Richie, Shifley, uh, Tarasenko, Chasen, Eakin, Chasen, Eakin, uh, Pocalook, maybe. And then, uh, yeah, that might be good. Chase and Eek and Pocalook. And then uh, Ferguson, Peverly, Brett Ritchie. Bukestad, maybe. Maybe even Shala. I don't even know. There's a lot of crazy stuff that could actually happen with this team. So, All right, I think we do have the cap room to make everything happen. Oh, well, let's get Dylan back, though, first off. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll dish out the money for Dylan. Yeah, 4.6. So, 4 and then 2, so we can take off 6 mil. Yeah, I can probably get him 3 years at 4 mil. It's a lot of money for Dylan, since he's our technically technically considered a top 4. So, I'll get him back for that. It's a lot of money, but we can get him back. Uh, Hanowski, we could use him. He's got great puck moving skills. He's not really good defensively, but we may be able to use him for that third line. We could use him for that third line if Paco looks not ready. I might just sign him just for the hell of it and put him down there in the minors. He, we could have, we could, ha, bleh. it might be the same thing that happened last year with the Rajula because we couldn't. I, I'll wait on him. Krug, I do need a top six defenseman, so I'll sign Krug just in case. Uh, I'm only gonna sign him for one year. He wants a one way, so I'll probably send him down. He might go through waivers, but that's fine. Uh, Shala, if he wants a two way, he's good. Yeah, he wants a two way, he's good. Bukestad, I think he won a one-way. Yeah, he won a one-way. Let me see if I can get him for... Uh, no, nah, I don't think I can get him on a two-way. I'll try. I'll try to get him for a two-way at that. I doubt I will. Brad Ross, let me tenor five qualifying offer to him. Brad Ross, yeah, you're good. Uh, Dino, I think I reached out to you. Brett Ritchie, you won a one-way, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you it. I'm 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 expecting big things from you, pal. But let's hope let's hope it's a good thing. So one year I could take off a mil, or take off a thousand. I could take off like a hundred k, can I? No, that would be two mil. You could take off two and then one, right? Yeah, I could take off a full. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. I could take off like point nine three zero. Yeah, and then half of that, so fifty, so like point nine. I think that's what Richie would want. And then uh, uh, I'll advance a day again. I think I'm forgetting my goalie, too. Yeah, Mrazic. I forgot about him. Let's see how much money we'll have. All right, so Dylan renewed. Uh, Bukestad rejected. Okay, that's what I thought. Shala, Ross, Richie, and Dano. Okay, so Richie accepted that really piss poor uh, amount of money. So, goaltenders, I think I need to sign Mrazic. Yes, I do. Sign Mrazic to a two-way deal. At, uh, can I get him for two years? Yes, I can. I will do that. He's probably not going to accept that. It's a little bit too low. Eh, he actually might. Who knows? 
Uh, okay. All skaters now. And Elski Krug and Bukestad. All right, I'll sign Bukestad, I guess. I'll sign him to that one-year deal. I can get him for a steal. So I can take off one mil, or 100K, I guess. And then the half, so... And then, yeah, I'll get him for one year at one mil. I actually shrink him down to, like, 0 0.90-ish. And uh, Krug, I'll sign. I'll sign Tori Krug. One year at 2.1, so I can take off two. And then, uh, so that'd be 1.9. And then, uh, let's see, so 1.945. And then another one, so one point, about 1.8. Mm, eight four five so 1.850 for Krug and then uh, I re reached out yeah I guess I'll, I have them I have the cap room so I will sign Hanowski I will only a one year deal though at a 1.2 uh, so that'd be two and then one so two points uh, one six so 2.15 2.15 for Ben Hanowski and uh, I think everybody's good, so we'll advance the day again. I have a lot of cap room now because we got rid of Bacchus and Daly, so we can. So Bukestad's good, Hanowski's good, Mrazik's good, Kruk's good. All right, so we still have seven point, uh, we still have seven point six mil to work with, and uh, I think we got everybody that we need to get. So forward lineup: Kane, Sagan, Huberdo, Shifley, Richie, and Tarasenko, Chasen, Eakin. Maybe Hanowski, maybe Ferguson, maybe Pakaluk, and then the fourth line, uh, f maybe Ferguson, Peverly, and Bugstag, Richie, any of these guys. The combinations on this team right now are endless. Who knows how big of a jump these guys are going to get, but I think we're good. Defense core, on the other hand, uh, Letty, Bobic, Runblad, Gormley, Dylan, and uh, maybe Krug, Nemeth, or Pissick, or AO, who knows what any of these guys are going to do goaltenders dancing and campbell we know that's what we know that uh that combination is good mrazic will be the ahl backup we're all good all right so that was a pretty quick uh video uh, i'll go into free agency we have 38 players under contract so we can i'll show you guys the free agents i don't think we need to pick up anything in free agency because i think we'll just let our prospects prospects progress and take our chances with that did win the Stanley Cup, so I think it is time to give the young guys a chance to bloom. Uh, if rookie draft results, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's see who the free agents are this year. So, ooh, yeah, some big names up there. Ryan Callahan, Ryan Ellis, Tomo Rutu, Carter Ashton, Nielsen, Ennis, Klein, Volchenkov, John Michael Lyles, Boychuk, Terrell, Clutterbuck, Como, Peckham, Samsonov. Uh, Roussel, Roussel actually got better now. He's 81 overall, go figure. Penner, Hansen, yeah. So, there's some big names up there. Callahan is the biggest one up there, but with, like I said, we don't need him. Uh, let's see, so forward-wise, um, potential-wise, Shinkrook's up there, Kirby Reichel's up there, uh, Mark McNeil's up there, uh, Thomas Hurdle, uh, Gerard, Teske, yeah, we can sign some of these guys. Uh, Lieso or Lesio. There's a lot of four and a half star red prospects. Yeah, we can sign up some of these guys who are maybe like pretty decent overall, like this uh, Tetsky guy and this uh, Gerard guy. We can uh, probably sign up some of those guys if we can get uh, Shinkrook. That'd be nice. Defense, on the other hand, uh, Ryan Murphy, Narbone, uh, Gertzen, Samsonov, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a bunch of these guys who probably wouldn't get pretty good, even if he did sign them or not. Goaltenders, uh, just, um, nothing really too special there for goalies. All right, so there's the prospects list. Like I guess I don't think we need anything. Uh, yeah, we can make this another long video. Let's try to sign some of these guys. All right, so let's go. I'm just going to go for the unrestricted free agents. Uh, so, okay, so Kirby Reichel is one of them. I'll sign Kirby Reichel. Actually, how good did he do this year? If he did good, he might get a jump. Uh, 46 points. Yeah, it's a pretty good year for Kirby Reichel, so I will sign him. Just make the AHL team a little bit better. Sign for two years. And, um, yeah, two years seems good. 7.45 for Kirby Reichel. Thomas Hurdle. Yeah, I can make the AHL team a little bit better. 
Thomas Hurtle. Uh, two years at that. Yeah, it's fine by me. Uh, Teske. Yeah, I'll sign him. He's a prospect. One year, that's fine. Uh, Kenny Ryan, no, no. Kamev, nope, nope. Reed Boucher. I know him. He's a, uh, who do you get drafted by? Yeah, Devils. That's why I thought he's playing on them right now. He's a sniper. Oh, God, he had a lot of points. He actually might be pretty decent next year. Uh, I'll just give him, yeah, give him a two years. Why not? Uh, Christian Thompson, he's a depth forward. Uh, did he do good last year? 23, he had NHL time. As a sniper, I don't need any snipers. Graham Black, nope. Lipsick, nope. Nope. Liezo, do good. Oh my god, 70 points last year. <whistles> he actually did pretty decent, so I'll sign him. Uh, okay, no, he wants he wants big time money. Never mind. Um, Henrik Samuelson, no... Or I'll just sign those couple guys. I'm fine with that. Defense. Jonathan Narbonne, I think I will sign. Uh, nope, he wants a uh, big-time contract. Well, I could, I could lower his salary and then get him on a two-way. So I'll do that for him. Did he do good last year? Uh, 24, not bad. Gertzen. Nope. Witherspoon, Skarsanoff, and... Samson off, yeah, but you're a uh, top six defenseman already, so we don't need to sign you. Then goaltenders, like I said, I don't think there was anything in there for goaltenders. Nah, we don't need a backup for, um, we don't need a backup for, uh, what's his face for Mrazic. Mrazic can just take control down there in the AHL, that's fine by me. Yeah, we're fine. So I'll just sign those couple of guys for forwards. I know, because there's a ton of different forwards down here that we could potentially sign, but I'll just let, let blah, leave it at those guys. I don't think we need to get any more. Um, we don't need anybody in free agency. Our team is fine. We're just going to run with uh, what the team we have right now. Just hope to God, hope to God that our prospects get better. And, uh, yeah, that's what we'll take it there. So we'll simulate up. Uh, okay, so that Tets Teske guy accepted. Uh, Reed Boucher got it, Kirby Reichel, Jonathan Narbonne, and Tomas Hertel. Okay, so I think we're good now. Let me just ch make sure if there's any other extra guys in there. Unrestricteds. They're pretty good. Weatherspoon, no. Kosmichuk, no. Nope. Brendan Lipsick. Liezo, we know he wants a, a good big contract. Samuelson, Samsonov, Kameyev. I know we signed Kameyev now, but he didn't play last year. Matthew Bissonnette, he's a power forward. Didn't play at all last year. Kenny Ryan, he probably wants money anyway, yeah. Mason Gertzen, uh, he's 23 now, we don't need him. All right, I think we're good. All right, we'll get to the beginning of the next, beginning of the regular season. We'll get right rolling with this, so let's get past all this. So I'll skip ahead to till, uh, till all this simulation bullshit gets done, and uh, yeah, we'll... See you at the beginning of the season and take a look at these player progressions in right now. All right, guys, so we got through all that bullshit of a free agency, and we're up to the beginning of the preseason here. Now let's take a look at everything. I'm very excited to see how these uh, how our guys are going to look, <clears throat> what our team's going to look like. There's the dang phone again, always ruining everything. Uh, hello? That's somebody calling me to tell us our prospects have gotten so much better. So let's take a look at it, all the forwards. <clears throat> Check it out. So Sagan still in a 90, Kane still in a 90, Huberto 88, Shifley 86, Richie 86, Chasen 86, Eakin 83, Tarasenko 83, Hanowski still at 82, okay, Ferguson still at 81, Brett Ritchie moved up to an 80, okay, so it looks like Brett Ritchie is going to be joining the NHL team this year. He's got decent defense, got a good shot like his brother. He's got good puck moving skills. Yeah, he's pretty much an identical twin of Brett Ritchie's, of uh, Nick Ritchie, so... He looks pretty good. He'll be getting fourth line time probably. Uh, Bukestad's an 80 as well. And Peverly's an 80. So we can actually got a pretty decent fourth line here. We could use Bukestad as well if we so wish to use him. He's got good defensive awareness and good shot block, uh, good stick checking. So maybe we can use him as well. Who knows? Um, but yeah, there's our forwards there and the in the system. Pakaluk is an 81, so he could maybe join up on the team now. He's still got that good shot. His defense still sucks, but that'll get there with a uh, time. He looks to be like a, a really good, like I say, he's a good fast sniper, so we could use him as well. 
Uh, Shala is an 80. Brad Ross is an 80. Deneau's a 79. A lot of these guys are pretty good now, so I have to make the decisions on that. Fax is still at a 6, 76, so... I mean, he's slowly getting up there. He might get that big jump next year, but unfortunately we're not going to be going that far next year. Uh, Yeah, that's that in the forwards. All right. So make your decisions there for the forwards. If I had to pick, Sagan, Kane, Huberto, Shifley, Richie, Tarasenko, Jason, Eakin, and... Jason, Eakin, and... I want to say Pakaluk. I really do. I want to put him on there. I really want to put Abraham Pakaluk on that third line now. And then the fourth line, probably uh, Rich Peverly, Brett Ritchie, and then maybe Bukestad, Shala. How Shala's stats look? Shala's really good defensively, so we might want to put Joshua Shala in there for the fourth line. Uh, Brad Ross as well. Brad Ross, yeah, I'd rather put Shala in there over... Uh, over Ross, so maybe that could be the fourth line. Hanowski might get snubbed. Who knows? Maybe Hanowski might just be a trading asset. Who knows what we want to do with him. But, yeah, it's, it's a lot of crazy stuff that could happen, though, with the main roster. So that's there for offense. Defense, let's see what we got here. So Letty, 88 still. Runblade, 85. Dylan, 84. Gormley, 84. Krug, 81. And Nemeth is 79. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4... I think Bobic's down there in the minors. Yeah, I figured that. So, um, Nemeth is still only a 79. Krug's an 81. So, we have uh, Bobic's 87 and Letty. Runblad and uh, Gormley. Then Dylan. And then we could either put Tori Krug in there. We could either put Patrick Nemeth, um, Mark Pissick, or Sebastian A.O. So, it looks like this kid's ready to go. 80 overall. Offensive defenseman, Sebastian A.O. This guy who we picked up in that Nashville trade with Colton Bobick. So we picked him up along with that as well, and he, he looks actually to be pretty good. He's actually pretty good. His defensive stats ain't that bad. He's got good defensive awareness, pretty good shot blocking. You know what? I wouldn't be... I would rather... I mean, if we... Uh, I don't know. How good is he compared to uh, to Tory Krug? Krug, 86... Uh, he Krug, I think, has the better offensive category than... Uh, than AO does, but if I were me, I would rather want to play um, Sebastian AO in there. He's got better defensive awareness. I think I think Krug's uh, puck moving skills might be a little bit better. He's not the best eager. He's got good hand eye, good offensive awareness. How good is uh, Krug's uh, stats? Whoops. How good is Krug's stats? Like puck moving skills wise, yeah, he's a much better puck moving skills mover than uh, AO is. So, uh, yeah, there's a big decision there, guys. So it's going to be a lot of different crazy line changes that you guys are going to have to go through. And then goaltenders, uh, Oscar Dansk stayed in 85. Campbell went up to an 83. And then Mrazek is an 80, 80 overall with this uh, Archibald guy as a backup. So a lot of crazy line changes that you guys are going to have to make your suggestions for. Um, if I go to line edits, and if I do uh, best lines, I guess, Actually, let me just do roster moves. Move everybody up and down where they need to go. I'll just move everybody around where they probably should and should go. So I'll start on the back end. Goaltenders, I think we're good. Yep. Defensemen, we want Bobic up here. So Bobic gets up. Um, looks like Nemeth probably gets called down. Yeah, because he's the def depth defenseman. I'll call A. I didn't even look at Pissix. Yeah, he's a defensive defenseman. I'd rather call AO up here. So we'll call AO up. Uh, all those guys can stay down there. Uh, Forward-wise, anybody we need to send down. I think Hanowski is pretty much the only guy who's getting snubbed. Hanowski gets down. Pakula gets called up. Shala gets called up. And uh, I think that's basically it. So NHL and NHL rosters, yep. And then we do best lines, best lines, best lines for offense, best lines, I mean, for defense. And then... Texas best lines, best lines. That's what's, that's what's showing us here. So these are the lines that they're showing us right now for our um, for our main roster. It looks like they want uh, Richie up there in the first line, but that's not going to happen. We're going to put Huberto up there with uh, with Kane and Sagan because they work so well together. They want Shifley playing the third line. That's not going to happen. 
But uh, yeah, this is how it would look like if I were to edit this out as the best roster. Uh, yep, I want him up there. Uh, um, uh huh. Uh huh. And then Shala is center. Now he's a left wing, but he's probably got Ferguson as a right wing. Brett Ritchie. Yeah, he's a right wing as well. Well, I might take Shallow off for um for Peverly, yeah, because I think they have Peverly scratched, right? Yeah, they have Rich Peverly, Bugstad, both of them scratched, and they're both center, so I'd probably want to play Peverly over Shala in this case, even though Shala still has the gold star potential and could get better. He's got good defensive stats, but Peverly's still more well-rounded, I think, than uh, Shala is. Let's see. Yeah, he's still much better defensively than Shala is, so I would probably scratch Shala and put Peverly in there. That would be the only change I would make, scratch him, play Peverly, wherever he's at, Peverly, 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 right there. And then move them around like that. I think Brett Ritchie's the right wing. Yeah, so that's probably how I would have it lined up. Hubert Sagan, Kane, Ritchie, Shifley, Tarasenko, Pocalook, Eakin, Chasen, Ferguson, Peverly, Ritchie, Defense, uh, Letty, Bobic, Gormley, Runblad, Dylan, Krug, I guess, for right now, where we could put AO in there. And then, obviously, goaltending, Dansk and Campbell. And then down there in the minors, they have Boucher, Dano, Hanowski, Ross, Phillips. Probably just move Fax up to the first line, just move all those guys down there. So our AHL team's pretty good. Defense, Nemeth and Pissick down there, Norbone, yep, 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 yep. But, and then in net, Mrazek. So... I don't really care about the AHL team right now. All I care about is the NHL team. What do you guys think about this lineup? Help me decide a lineup because, like I said, there's lots of really good prospects, players that we have right now that can fill up on the top line. Nanowski could still play. Brad Ross could play. Um, and that Shala guy and uh, Bugstad are still scratched down here. So, like I said, and uh, make the decision crew or AO for defense. But... Goaltending, we know we're good. Our top six looks pretty pretty dang filthy, if I would say so. I saw our third line's looking good now. But yeah, help help me out decide a, a lineup once again, guys. Like I said, lots of really good prospects that we have to um, decide where they want to play. A lot of young guys making their way onto the roster now. So make the decision with that, and uh, I'll probably see you guys in the next video when we get started. Year six.